give it to a whack dude before and then make a good guy wait. I don't think that you're trying to make the good guy wait. I think that you want him to see the value in you. Sometimes I'm like, all right, if I give it to him too, too soon, he's going to think, you know, like I'm not a good girl or there's no, like, you know, I'm just a quick, easy F or whatever. And I think that's sometimes what women will do. They'll 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 make the guy that they really like wait longer. Because that's who they really, like, see potential. And I might see a husband in you. And just like men, like, see certain women, like, oh, she's wife and material. Or, you know, she's just somebody I'm going to smash. I think women are able to do that as well. Like, you know, oh, you know, he's, he's got a lot of good qualities. He got some good stuff going for himself. You know, I'm just, you know, let me see how it goes. Let me make him wait for it. And then, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully that can, you guys can build on the relationship more instead of just the sexual. And then it can blossom into something else. Women don't want to... um be confused mm -hmm. by the sex and they actually want to get to know is this a good dude like mm -hmm. should I continue That's down this road because yeah. with some people like the sex can cloud your judgment oh, yeah. um on on what a person is or what they could be you know so I, I would think that that may have something to do with it as far as waiting mm -hmm. I think that's a good example too that's real. I could see this as a cause of confusion and frustration but here's the thing though if this person is known to go for a lot of guys and all of a sudden find a first good dude say like, I think I'm going to make a wait. Guess what? The good guy, if he knows this woman has a high body count by making him wait, I would turn around and keep on walking. So if she has a high body count, all she's doing is training herself for short-term relationships. That's it. And I'm talking to all the future young kings. If you want a future queen, do yourself a favor. Don't get near any female with a high body count. Unless you want to have fun and smash, that's your choice. But you're looking for a future wife, stay away from the women with the high body counts. And don't get me wrong. If you want to deal with women with high body counts, that's you. You're just taking a risk though. I'm not gonna go into it. I'll probably go in like I probably I've done it already about why you shouldn't, but still. The problem is frustrating to um <clears throat> a lot of men that you know how you look at a woman with a high body count as a as a wife. As a, as a wife. I don't get me wrong. I hear a lot of stories how women who used to be sex workers got married to good godly men. And the women, you know, started becoming born again Christians. Key, key word. I really have a former sex worker decide to become a born again Christian, give her life to Christ, and really turn her life around and work hard to get her life back in order as opposed to a woman claiming to be a born again virgin. I read hear stories from a Born again Christian who used to be a former sex worker, then a born again virgin. That's a slap in the face. That's an insult to women in general. But as these young ladies say, like, well, I'll make them wait. I gotta be honest, it depends on the body count. If she didn't go with too many guys and all that stuff, and said time like she's been with this guy one year, I never do the other year, like about one or two guys a year and that stuff, then okay. It's about one guy a month, a week. Yeah, you better really think carefully. So all I got to say, with dealing with women like her, your discretion. Be smart. Be careful. Peace.